Hello there, Phil Willits again. Part 2 of Shading Pencils. If you remember, we looked at the different shadings and I use Royal pencils and I find them quite good. In actual fact, I find them very good in, in lots of places. And You can see that we shaded there, if you remember, and then there was a very cheap tin and we shaded in. There wasn't an awful lot of difference between the two, a B of these and the B of the, of the cheaper ones. If you remember, we also, I showed you the Satella, and it's an EB, and I, you can't get that. I can't, don't think you can get that pencil anymore. This was given to me by an elderly artist. Um, so obviously they've changed their make. Anyway, because of that, I decided to send for some pencils. Uh, some more expensive pencils than the, uh, the royal ones that I have used. And here they are, they came from uh, Pencils for artists and what's it, what I sent for was were these and a Tombow um, and there's also an eraser now those are, that eraser is very very good I'll show you what erasers I've used there's my favorite little packet with a lot of my pencils in and the, my favorite eraser believe it or not is that one and you can I think you can still get this one, but that was actually from Staples. And it's a lovely soft pencil. And then the other one is a very uh, small pencil. Again, uh, really Tombow pencil, the same as that one, boys. That one is even a little bit smaller. So those are those pencils. I've also had in here... These, I sent for these, six of them, there's another one in there, and um, again, and these are, that this one's a, if I can get it, typical, that's an, uh, uh, an 8B, and uh, there's, I had two, there's a 9B, and there's a 7B, and I thought we'd have a look and see if there is any difference. There's a 6B and um, and I've got a 7B but what I'll do is I'll just draw those there. I'll just, just see if it makes it, if it how dark it is and it is a lot darker. But that EB pencil is still darker than the, than the, 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 the manufacturers that made the, the EB Stiletto um, to, for the, the, the 7B and then there's the 9B we go 8B and again that's a nice pencil for, for shading why I'm doing this is because it's so important to get a nice dark black tone very often but um, you'll find that with the cheaper pencils they do reflect the light, they shine Whereas these pencils, um, I don't know how they do it, but the, it doesn't shine so much. And this is the reason why I've bought these pencils here. What I decided to do, I've also got some of these in this package. And they are water brushes. And I want to have a go at doing, using these water brushes, doing a, 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 a watercolour painting using these watercolour brushes but before we we go I'm going to undo the packet and I'm going to sharpen them all and we'll go through and, and just along here and see the difference between these expensive pencils and the cheaper ones and see if there is any difference in the tone so uh, I'll, I'll shut down now and I'll open it and I'll sharpen the pencils because you don't want me to see, see me sharpen a pencil, it'll be as boring as anything. So, okay, I'll see you in a minute or two. Hello, welcome back. I've sharpened all those pencils as, uh, as I say or do. And, uh, oh, I see. And so, well, let's experiment and see how they differ in tone. So, I'll put them down there. And we'll start with 2H. That's the hardest one of, of this set that I bought. The Tombow set, if you remember. And it's a, 
it's a 2H and that's probably the hardest I would ever use for any sketches and there's a 2H there and those are the cheaper uh, pencils, we'll, we'll do it up here and there isn't an awful lot of difference to be honest with that one, so put that one down there the next is the HB which is there now I know this paper here is smoother than that, that's watercolour paper but even so that's a darker tone than all the others and I'll just put I've got that's a, there's a bit there, I'll just do it there just to see that's a lot nicer, that's um, softer if you like that's, 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 I'm very impressed with that the next one is B which is here I'll do that there, yeah there is, uh, with these more expensive pencils there is a softness um, to them, not so much with the 2H they were very similar, but there is a softness and the, the tone is slightly different not too much, but the uh, HB is definitely, definitely darker. And now we'll do two, two B, and we'll do that on watercolor paper as well because there is a space there. Well, yeah, okay. It's not too different, really, to be honest with you. A little bit, I think. And f the four um, B, which is this one, and again, I'll do it on the water water paper just because I did it on the all the other yeah now there isn't an awful lot of difference in tone and the final one is 6B which is here so to recap with these pencils there is a softness with them more so than the, than the cheaper pencils to be fair and I do believe that there is slightly darker tone on on some of the B pencils, the 2B and the 4B and the 6B. So the, so there is a difference between the more expensive pencils and the cheaper pencils. But as I say, I've always used the Royal pencils and I find them very good. Now, these Tombow make this, and I've used this, they make this one. And I thought before we finish, I'd just go through some of these. Now that's a 9B, and just let's have a look at the at a 9B on here. And that's again the same as these here. S uh, Stetta pencils, Mars pencils. And then we'll, um, that's an 8B. But there is the shine with those, whereas there isn't the shine with those. I don't know, if, you probably can't see that on the camera, but I can see it. And um, 6B, which is down here, we'll do that. And those two, which you, you don't, you'd expect it, they're, they're both the same manufacturer. They're very similar. And we'll do the 4B. Just experiment. Yeah, the same. 2B. Do that there. Yeah, it's a little bit rougher actually than the 2B with these. With these, although they're the same manufacturer, they're, that's a softer feel than that one, which is quite strange. And finally, the HB. Yeah, but which is about the same. Okay, so that was a, a, I hope this has been a, useful to you. Um, but I'm quite pleased with these pencils, and I can recommend them. Although, as I say, I've used the, uh, usually I, with my sketching, I've always used Royal, and I find those quite good. Now, before we go, if you remember, we had in the, in the, that came with these pencils I decided to send for these the Derwent watercolour brushes and I thought we'd do that's a fine one
quite hard to come off. That's a square one, and that's a, the bigger one, if I can get it off. That's a bigger one. Now I have got some other watercolour brushes, <coughs> and that's these. And um, Pentel, <coughs> those are the Pentel, Pentel watercolour brushes. And I did a sketch using just one of them, which I find is the best one. That's the big one. And that big one is, is bigger than the Derwent big one. And I went and did a sketch using... Using that very small watercolour set from um, Windsor & Newton. And, um, and you simply just squirt it in like that, the water comes out and you mix them up and you can use it on the paper like so. And I did a sketch using that method <coughs> a couple of days ago and that's Pear and Porth. And so I thought what we'd do I thought what we'd do we will I'll do uh, using this method I'll do a, a bit of a, a, a painting using the, the watercolour brushes and see how we go on with those. So I'll get ready and, and I'll see you in a minute or two. Okay, uh, we're back and uh, here's the Derwent watercolour brush and there's my little tiny palette um, that I carry about with me if I'm going out anywhere. And I thought we'd do a a bit of a picture of a lion and so we'll start and I've got to make sure that you can see what I'm doing. I'm just going to give it a and let's just uh, experiment get a bit deeper. As I say, I don't use wa these water brushes awful lot, but um, I find them reasonably useful, really. Saves so having to carry a pot of water around, although it is useful to have a a pot of water because although you're supposed to squeeze the, the water out and I'll just do it there and it's supposed to help to clean the brush if you've got a tiny little bit of a spot of water you can sort of wash it in the in the in as well and that will uh, that helps to clean the brush out so we go around there I'm going to try and do this as quick as I can. If I find it too slow, then maybe we'll have to go a bit faster with the uh, the end. Okay. The re. First coat, really. Go in there. It's quite difficult, really, because normally I would, on this, I would have used a much bigger brush, and it would have um, covered a lot easier. Uh, and so it is quite. It would. They wouldn't be any good for a, a big watercolor, but they're ideal for carry in your pocket and do, do a small watercolour, the one like I showed you when we were looking at pencils. Okay, had a bit stronger tone there and we'll go around there with, with that. and squirt a bit more water on, hope you can see that and we're just going to carry a very light tone just around there 
I'm going to change in a minute. I'm going to use another one, one with a point on. Okay, so that's so that's that first layer. With the the chisel edge, if you like, if that's the right word, you can you can sort of use it like a chisel, like a point, and it produces um, a bit of a point on. That's quite useful. It's quite good. Okay, I'll change brushes now. I'm back probably to that one. And we'll try this other. As I say, I'm using the Derwent ones. And we'll darken the tone a bit. Okay, and we'll darken some of those as well. At the end of this I'm going to probably use a black ink just to go over the lines and hopefully give it a little bit more of a lift. I do prefer the pointed one rather than the chisel edge. I find it a little bit more controllable. And we'll put something there. Around there, around there. Now I'm going to clean that, and we're going to have a darker tone. And we'll do that with the ears. Mixing that, I'm mixing the two tones. I think the, the, the black or the darker one is Payne's Grey. Okay, go using a bit darker tones on here, make that a bit darker there. Trying to do this as quick as I can. It's not as good as a brush, to be fair, but. Uh, as I say, quite interesting to experiment. Right.
put some of this A bit of a collar as well. I'm going to swap to this one because that's a bit dirty. So I'll go to this one. Now then I want to try and clean the, the brush. And I want a tiny bit of blue, I think, really. And we'll put a little bit just there. A few bits there. And we'll go for green for the eyes. A red. A bit more red actually. And then the black. And maybe some more darker tone there. How much more difficult? Right, okay, now then I'm going to finish off by giving it a, a bit of a lift. Is it dry? Reasonably dry, so let's just...
ends up flowing as, as I would have liked. I'm going to change my pen, this is not really working. A bit darker, that's better. Also, the the uh, paper's a bit wet as well, so it's not flowing as I would have liked. bit more And finally, <clears throat> rub those over a bit.
Okay, well, not wonderful, but um, you can see how the um, how the, it's quite useful to have, uh, and they do they do make they, they're quite good. Um, I pref to be honest with you, I do I haven't I didn't use this one. This is the Derwent, and this is the one I used on the when I went sketching outside, and I find this one probably hold is a little bit bigger when it holds more water, so I found that one. Not too bad. Anyway, that's a. Uh, so I'm just going to. That's using the water pen, and um, so it's well worth experimenting and seeing what um, what they're, they're about. But they do. They they are very very good for doing sketches and what have you for going outside. Okay, so I'll see you later. Don't forget to subscribe, and um, my and have a look at my channel YouTube channel. Thanks for thanks for watching and happy painting. Cheers!